I'm Ali. I'm a master diagnostic technician. Today we are talking about lock and rear differential and traction controls. I'm sitting in a Tacoma off-road. The lock and rear differential button is next to the dome light and the SOS button. This buttons also exist in the Forerunners. And for more information, this is multi-terrain and crawl control. Ali, I think this might be a great day to talk about locking rear diff and traction control. We've got really muddy terrain here. It's really slick. It was fun getting out here. Can you explain how those work in a scenario like this? Sure. On a normal vehicle, the driven wheel that are on the slippiest, slipperiest side of the road will get most of the power going to them. The wheel with the most fraction doesn't get very much cause the vehicle to get stuck and not go anywhere. On a vehicle with traction control, the wheel with the most uh, traction will get some use. The wheel that's on the slippery, slipperiest side will have the brakes applying to it so not all the power goes to it. This doesn't add to the traction, uh, to the traction of the vehicle. This just makes the vehicle go straight. On a vehicle with a lock and rear differential, both driven wheels are hooked together as they were one axle and they will both turn on the same speed. In this case, you will get more traction and if you want to get out of mud or get out of ice, that is the way to do it. And to clarify for our viewers, when you use the lock and rear differential button first, would you use that when you first hit the trail? Okay. If you normally drive with the lock and rear differential because both wheels are spinning at the same speed, no matter what you do, when you go around the corners, you're going to hear a noise. That's one of your wheels screeching on the ground because they're both spinning at the same speed. The differential is made to counter that. And you're jumping across that function of the differential when you're using lock and rear diffs. You use it only when you get stuck just to get out of the slippery situation. Makes total sense, thank you. Ali, thanks for talking about the locking rear differential and how it works with traction control. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching everybody. If you have any comments or questions, please put it in the comment section.